So four years is too much for you, huh? Well, what about two? What's happening? It's Shane. So usually my videos go over four year college degrees because those are the most common degrees that people get. But today we're going to go ahead and dial it back because sometimes four years is just too damn long. Ain't nobody got time for that. But you know what you do have time for? Smashing the like button to defeat the evil YouTube algorithm because it really helps out with the channel. No, but seriously, there are some really good opportunities out there for two-year degrees. I think a lot of people overlook two-year degrees and they just go straight for the four-year ones, and I think that's a little bit of a mistake. And some of these options can even get you to the six-figure level, and they have high demand as well. And you'll notice throughout the video that a lot of these degrees are going to have a few key things in common, and these are things that you can take note of. So let's jump right into this one with number 10, which is biomedical engineering technology. Now this one is gonna start off around $47,400 a year in the first five years when you're starting your career. And then when you're moving into more of a mid-career pay, it's gonna be around $80,700 a year. And what you're gonna be an expert in if you go into this career path is the manufacturing, installation, calibration of all kinds of different technology that they use in healthcare facilities. So as you can see with this one, it's a combination of two extremely hot fields. So on one hand, hand you have engineering slash technology and specifically the technician side of that and then on the other hand you have healthcare which I've talked about this a lot before it's one of the fastest growing career fields combine those two skill sets together and you get biomedical engineering technologist and this is a really good one to get into and it's also very similar to the next one on the list number nine which is biomedical engineering so this one is going to start off around forty four thousand dollars a year starting off in your first five years and then eighty thousand nine hundred dollars in mid-career pay. And whereas the last one was more interested in maintaining, installing, and repairing these machines that are created for healthcare facilities and hospitals, this one is going to be more focused on the creative or the design aspect. So both of these are really good and it kind of just depends on what your personal preference is. But the next one on the list, number eight, is going to be instrumentation and control. Now this one actually starts off at $55,700 a year and then mid-career pay is around $81,200. And based Basically, on BLS, instrumentation and control engineering is a branch of engineering that studies the measurement and control of process variables and the design and implementation of systems that incorporate them. So these are different variables that you have to keep track of in all kinds of different industries and technologies across the world. So things that you might keep track of, for instance, would be temperature, humidity, flow, pH, force, and speed. As you can see, this is a very useful skill to have. Industries, companies across the world need people who are good at keeping track of this sort of thing. And I can see this one being really good now and being really good years and years into the future. So one career that you might end up going into if you got this degree would be an electromechanical technician. This is just one example, but they make around $58,000 a year, which is extremely solid for an associate level degree. Now you're probably going to notice a lot of patterns on this list, especially when it comes to the associate level degrees. There's going to be a lot of things that are related to health, engineering, and technology. And the next one, number seven, is no different. It's instrument technology. This one is going to start off at about $46,700 a year and then the mid-career pay is going to be around $81,700. So this is going to go over a lot of the same processes as before, measuring different variables that are really important, but it's going to be more aimed at becoming a technician that pretty much just calibrates or fixes different instruments. And one career that you might move into with this associate level degree is going to be an electrical and electronics engineering technician. They make around $65,000 a year and it's just an associate's degree with over 130,500 jobs available. Now you'll notice with a lot of these that the job outlook is usually not going to be as good as with a four-year degree and the reason for this is because there's less of a barrier to entry. It's so much easier for someone to do a two-year program. A lot of the times it's even less than two years they do some accelerated program and so the barrier to entry is much lower and so therefore a lot more people go into it. That is one of the downsides of getting a two-year degree but the upside is that you don't have to go to school for nearly as long and a lot of the time you can complete the degree in a community college. Number six on the list is going to be fire protection engineering. And this one is going to be a degree that starts off around $37,100 a year. And then mid-career pay is going to be around $83,100. And this one kind of sounds like exactly what it is. They basically just use different concepts when it comes to fire technology and fire science to protect people, businesses, technologies, etc., from natural fires as well as man-made fires that can occur in the workplace. It also uses engineering 
engineering principles to protect the environment from these sorts of fires that tend to break out. And one career that you can go into with this and become is a fire inspector. So fire inspectors make about $60,000 a year and they're growing at about 8%, which is much faster than average. And that's really high on a list that includes mostly associate degrees. Number five on the list is going to be computer science and engineering. This one is gonna start off around $40,600 a year. And then mid-career pay is gonna be around 83,700. Now it is possible for you to become a software engineer with just a two-year degree. That's totally possible. But generally you wanna to try to get a four-year computer science degree if you're trying to break into that field. One career that you could go for instead though is a computer support specialist. So they make around $54,700 a year. There's a ton of jobs available, 863,000 and there is a 10% job outlook. So these are extremely good stats, especially on a list that is just two year degrees. This one is definitely one that you should look into. I recommend anyone, whether it's a two year degree, four year degree, six year degree, eight year degree, uh, look into computer science, software engineering and technology. There is a ton of opportunity opening up in that field. Another career that you could go for is web developer. And yes, I know people do break into web development without any degree whatsoever. It's possible, but getting a two year associates degree, if you have no idea Idea what you're doing is probably going to help you out a lot. Web developers make around $73,700 a year. There's 160,000 jobs out there. BLS does recommend that you get an associate's degree in order to go for this type of job. And it's growing at 13%, which is much, much faster than average. Number four on the list is going to be project management. Now, project management is going to start off at about $48,900 a year. And then mid-career pay is going to be somewhere around $89,300. So basically in lane layman's terms, what project management is, a lot of companies are moving towards more of a project-based workflow where they'll have teams work on one project at a time. And as a project manager, you're going to be the person in charge of making sure that that specific project is successful. So your big goal as a project manager is to achieve the goal that your boss assigned you in the given amount of time. I'm oversimplifying it there, but what I'm trying to say with this one is it's a very coveted skill set. And I can see why it made it so high on this list. Now, there are are so many different directions you can go for with this one and I think a lot of it is going to be business related so how much you make is going to depend on the company you work for what specialty you're in what industry you're in and a bunch of other different variables and I know people personally that have cleared six figures with just a two-year degree in project management number three on the list is going to be software engineering surprise surprise software engineering pops up again so with this one you're gonna start off at about forty eight thousand one hundred dollars and then mid-career pay is going to be around ninety thousand which is absolutely excellent for a two-year degree. So this one is closely related to computer science, but it emphasizes the skills that you will need to get into software engineering, which is a subset of computer science. Software engineering also tends to be one that pays a little bit better than the broad topic of just computer science. And there are a ton of different directions you can go with this one. And what you make with a two-year degree when it comes to software engineering is gonna depend on your skill. But overall, this is a fantastic degree. And I think it's one that's worth getting Getting, especially if you just want to get a two-year degree. Number two on the list is going to be one that I've mentioned before on this channel, and that is going to be radiation therapy. So this one is going to start off around $61,400 a year, and you're going to get up to about $93,300 in mid-career pay. So this is one that's obviously in the healthcare field, and you're going to notice that healthcare has a lot of degrees at every single level, two-year, four-year, six-year, and eight-year, that are really solid options. Now, I've talked about this before, but the downside of radiation therapy is you are going to be treating people who are likely going through cancer and they're needing radiation for that. So this can be a really tough job and you have to have a certain type of personality in order to do it. But according to BLS, they make around $85,500 a year. There is a ton of jobs right now, 18,600, and there's gonna be even more in the future. It's growing much faster than average at 9%. Overall, this is an excellent one for you to look into. It's tough to handle. I don't know if I could handle it personally, but if you can do it, then definitely look into radiation therapy. No Number one on the list is going to be physician assistant studies. This one, you're gonna start off around $55,600 a year and mid-career pay is gonna be somewhere around $98,300. Now I've mentioned a lot on this channel how I think physician assistant is a really good career for you to get into. And this would be a really good place to start if you're thinking of becoming a PA, which is a six year master's level degree. Now you could also get employed in other things that are related to this. There's a lot of like technician and assistant programs and all that sort of thing in 
the healthcare field, but PA is one of my favorite careers and the stats are absolutely fantastic for it. According to BLS, you get paid around $112,000 a year. There's 118,000 jobs available and it has an insane 31% job outlook, which is I think actually the highest out of any of the jobs that are pretty common. So overall, I think that two year level degrees are not quite as good as four year degrees when it comes to your ROI, but it is really situation to situation. They might be right for some people in certain situations. And it is a little bit difficult to tell because I used Payscale in order to get the statistics for this. Payscale uses self-report data. Now they you know, get self-report data from millions and millions of different people, but it's difficult to tell whether these people who are self-reporting actually went on to get a bachelor's degree or a master's degree or a doctoral level degree. So that's something where you would have to do your own research. You know, That's just boots on the ground, messaging people who have these associate level degrees, either on LinkedIn or maybe joining Facebook groups in these different career fields. And you always wanna make sure to talk to several different people. Don't just get your opinion from one person. And this is something you notice pretty much at all levels, although some are different than others. Business, health, engineering, and technology tend to do really well at just about any level that you're at. Another thing that I really wanna mention about two-year degrees is you can really find some diamonds in the rough if you do your research. So the thing about these two-year degrees is they might lead to a job where maybe there's only like 3,000 of these jobs available. There's not enough jobs for it to even make it onto BLS. So they're really difficult to find and they're extremely niche. But if you are able to find jobs like this, you can get into them with just a two-year education and they can be extremely solid. Now, I think I should mention that there is some danger to this as well. Because of the fact that there's not that many of these jobs available, there's a very good chance that they might get replaced. Whereas let's say something like accounting where there's literally millions of accounts accountants, it would be very difficult to replace all of those accountants. And I don't think the government would actually allow that to happen. Or if they did allow it to happen, it would take decades in order for it to fully phase in. But if it's a job where there's only like 3000 people, no one is going to care if that job gets replaced. These are just the facts. And I've seen it happen a few times with a few different career opportunities. Now, surprisingly, Reddit seems to be a pretty good place to do the initial research on these types of degrees and careers. Obviously, you don't want to just blindly believe someone on the internet, but these are the types of of careers that they might suggest and then you can look into that career maybe join a Facebook group with people who are actively involved in that career or do other types of research on it overall two-year degrees are not going to be for everyone but it's definitely something that you should consider a lot of the time you can do a two-year degree at either a technical college or a community college and this is not going to be nearly as much as paying for a four-year degree which is going to end up costing you around forty thousand dollars a lot of the time check out my other videos right here I made them just for you go ahead smash the like button hit the subscribe subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, and then comment down below any thoughts or criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.